Hey everybody, welcome to Dad, Daughters, and Drinks, where you'll always get at least two of those three. Today we're going to be reacting to Ren McKay. This is a new track that came out yesterday. I didn't have a chance to look at it yesterday, um, but I've been looking forward to it ever since he announced it a week or two ago. I think it's some sort of a piano solo, and it looks like he's out in the desert. I'm assuming this isn't Calgary, so I'm guessing this is down uh, maybe near L.A., Vegas, kind of southwest area of the U.S., and McKay was written for his friend Callum, who passed away, I think, 12 or 13 years ago. Uh, if you haven't watched this video yet, even before you watch this reaction, you should go check out the original one. Uh, make sure you like it, comment, subscribe if you haven't to Ren already. And the top comment is a description that Ren gave of his, you know, friendship with Callum. Um, and it's pretty interesting, you know, just listening to him uh, talk about Callum and what he meant to him and some of the memories he had. Uh, and so, yeah, I just, uh, I think about this being a piano solo and I think about the songs that Ren has dropped recently, just in the last few weeks, you know, you start, at least in my head, I'm going back to the Fred again mashup, right? He's doing EDM stuff on an acoustic guitar and then he does the back to 74 uh, message in a bottle retake and that's you know more like a Motown feel and then there's uh you know the Nas retake halftime and you know just old school rap and now there's this piano solo and it's like there's nothing this guy can't do and you know people have said that you know people talk about his lyricism his skills on the guitar the piano singing ability and it's all absolutely correct but I think the thing that is most remarkable to me. And, and I am not even mentioning stuff like his sound engineering abilities or, you know, what he can do with videography and stuff, but uh, he does it all so rapid fire, right? It's not like he's, you know, going through phases where like he's focusing on rap and then he's focusing on, you know, piano or, you know, something else. It's like, boom, 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 just back and forth all over the place. It really is kind of fascinating and says a little bit about his brain that he can go in so many directions at the same time. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I think I'm procrastinating a little bit. I think this is going to be an emotional song. Uh, and I need to just bite the bullet, suck it up and take a look or a listen, really. Yeah, so it is going to be emotional. Shite. Uh, I don't think we've heard instrumental music from Ren before, like purely instrumental that I can think of. If you guys are aware of anything he's done that's got no lyrics at all, let me know in the comments. Uh, this is the first one I can think of. And, you know, his ability to evoke emotion is just unreal, right? Uh, and... I I was curious to see if he could do that with an instrumental only thing, because usually it's a combination for me of the lyrics and the music that, you know, kind of tugs at the heartstrings. Uh, but so far, it seems like he's going to do just fine with just the lyrics. I mean, just the piano. Um, hmm. So I think, you know, it's, 
I'm glad that there's, you know, some upbeat parts. It seems like he's going into. Uh, it, it makes me feel like he's playing to the memories, right? And it's not just all going to be, you know, a lament. It's going to also be upbeat and thinking about the good times. And I think that's an important mix of emotions to try and get in the song. Yeah, so at first I was thinking that was Ren sitting there with the guitar, which I think is what you would normally think, but I'm pretty sure that's Ren holding the blue towel. And I assume that's Callum holding the guitar. I wonder if he played as well or if that's just you know Ren's guitar that he was holding on to. 89 to 2011, that would make him what, 21, 22. Man, that's too young. You know, my... Heart goes out to anybody who loses friends or family that young. That was really, that was really beautiful. Um, you know, you think about a lyricist like Ren, who in my mind is one of the best songwriters that's, there's ever been. Um, and if he's having trouble expressing something, right? He talked in this description I mentioned earlier about having writer's block. He's been wanting to do something like this for a long time. Um, and then you get it, like you get the music for it, uh, and you realize it's just going to be an instrumental. Uh, you know that it's got to be something that's really special. And I think it's really cool that he uh, that he shared that with us. That's going to be something I'm going to have to listen to like a hundred times and just really... And you just kind of put it on repeat. Wow. That was touching. Well, anyway, I think, you know, that's it for me. I hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for watching with me. And again, if you haven't gone and, you know, showed the original video some love, make sure you go and do that. And I will see you guys again on the next one. Thanks for watching.